All right. Getting ready to uh, fire off the uh, York AHX 36. Let's see, that's one. And jump the fan with Y calling. This is the initial first time I've tried this. See what the uh, static is. That. Point two two. Wow, let's get this on high. But I haven't adjusted anything yet, so. Let's uh, check out this little gab. So, just the air handler, but they expect you to have a filter in the air handler. tripod this to the filter. Okay, so it's negative point. So let's switch them around and see if it just turns into positive. Yeah, so that's the story with that. Six point three five is going to fall between nine eighty two and nine thirty eight. So Oh no, that's between 1200 and 1158. So uh, that's a little high, but we're going to do some adjusting. We'll see how, after I adjust airflow here around uh, all my supplies and returns, we'll see if that uh, goes up. All right, well, I've uh, balanced the supply registers best I can. I'm running out of uh, daylight and warm. So I'm going to find it out that my high speed is too high because my static is too low. you got to love that. When does that ever happen? Well, that's uh, ductwork that's sized accordingly. But uh, I've just uh, turned on my ERV, which dumps into this. And you can see I'll go shut it off and it'll come back up. That was just on low. I'm going to crank it up to high. Now this is dumping into the return, so that should drop. Here it comes. 
See, so that, now I'm about 0.3. Let's take a finally get to look the ERV. Electrician hasn't landed my receptor yet, so I'm plugged in that light, but there she is. This is still air out. Fresh air. So I've got little bits of flex in there to quiet it down. Here it runs. That's on high. It will probably never run on high unless they, you know, they have to turn it up to high. But uh, there's fresh air in. And stale air out. And I'll shoot a little video of the hoods when I go outside. Let's go ahead and uh, I've got to mount my controller still. There's my controller. Go ahead and... That's medium. There's low. The Ultimate Air 200DX. In my opinion, that is the best ERV on the market as self-balancing. What you're looking at right there is the uh, preheat for uh, winter time. When it ever gets down below 12 degrees, that'll kick on and maintain that air above 12 degrees so that the core doesn't freeze. Don't know why it's not 32, but they... First one I put in was 18 degrees. Now they've changed them to 12, so they're refining them all the time. There we are on low. I'm going to uh, shut this off and change it to medium high. All right, here we go. Let's try medium high. They were floating around between 0.23 and 0.25. I'm going to call it 0.24. That's how you do that. And then uh, let's go ahead and kick the ERV back up. See how far that has. Here comes low. This is uh, about 70 additional CFM that's getting dumped into the return. Not a big effect. Try high. Drops down to uh, 0 0.21, 22, 21. I'm gonna kick that back off. And we're back to 0.24. So that was three negative one before, so that's negative that's a 0.25. So it got off a little bit as time went on. So a 36.25 falls between 1019 and 982. That's right where we need to be. That's where we're gonna be. And that's with the ERV on low where it will be running. So and even at a point two, I'm at ten nineteen. I'm still, I'm still in a safe land, I believe. For uh, yes, yeah, so I can be as low as eight fifteen and as high as eleven twenty five with a two and a half ton unit. As you can see that, I've already uh, gone through and balanced that, as I told you. And I just, it's really boring. Uh, maybe it's not boring, but it is what you're doing it, and that's what I use. And I just got the high ones and just cut them back some because I'm running out of daylight. But uh, at least I did something as far as making sure the air is pretty close. I think I'm close to 10% everywhere. So we'll uh, gonna go charge the unit.